An individual education plan is a written plan as outlined in Regulation 181-98 in the Ministry Policy Document. It is a written plan and it is a working document describing the special education programming and or services required by a specific student based on thorough assessment of his or her strengths and needs. The IEP is not a description of everything that will be taught to the student. It's not a list of all the teaching strategies used in the regular classroom outside of differentiated instruction and universal design. It's not a document that records all the learning expectations, including all those that are modified from the regular grade level expectations. As a classroom teacher, you are responsible for developing and implementing the IEP for your student in your classroom. Along with that, you are involving any specialty teachers like phys ed teachers, music teachers, it could be a language teacher, um, where they, if they have specific input into that subject area that requires accommodations or modifications, then you are also seeking their input or they can input their own learning expectations in that grade level or subject. Well, first of all, this, the teacher is responsible for implementing and developing the IEP. The school administrator signs off on the IEP. Parents are always given a brochure within the first 30 school days where that indicates that the teacher is working on developing the IEP based on relevant assessment data. Parents also play a key role in giving information into the IEP. Many parents and guardians know their child best. They may be providing extra assessments that would be relevant into the input of the new academic school year IEP for their son or daughter. Students also play a role in the IEP because regardless of their age, we need to make their goals aware to them as individuals within the learning environment.